Well, hello, good morning, and it's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you once again, off on another one of our transport adventures. And this time we're in Wigan, not too far from home, uh, sort of about half hour up the motorways and through the roadworks. There's a slight bit of drizzle in the air, it's not supposed to be wet, but uh, <coughs> I've got my uh, brolly in my camera bag, so. Uh, we are prepared. What shall we see in Wigan? Well, of course, we'll see quite a lot of yellow buses, but of course, as forever, we shall see what we shall see. And uh, it's a pleasure having you with us on this visit. It always is. Perhaps we'll have a chat as we uh, go along. And uh, if not, we'll certainly be with you again to say farewell. So uh, <coughs> I'll uh, just have to walk from the car park through to where the station is and then get my bearings and find the bus station. They've changed all the roads around here. It's pretty well impossible to find your way around anymore. <laughs> and they've all got these 20 mile limits on the roads. Crazy days, crazy days. See you all in a bit. Well, oh, tally-o and away we go.
but it seems a long time since we were here last seen the introduction of the B network and uh, obviously a lot has changed since then but uh, it hasn't uh, quite wiped out the old uh, deliveries and uh, we are still very much getting a sticker and, uh, nothing like the sticker time the time of change of takeovers Bus station roulette, which one's going to go first? As we walked in from the car park this morning, so it's hard not to notice the uh, sort of rough sleepers and the doorways and the further decay of the buildings as uh, Wigan past slowly sinks into oblivion and it's like yeah, everybody's just waiting for the buildings to fall down and crumble then they can uh, whisk them all away and uh, put up new uh, hideous blocks of shops that nobody wants too dear to rent and uh, housing flats apartments that uh, people likewise don't really want
probably a bit late for most of the uh, sticker jobs but uh, I did see some when I drove in so they are out there here this morning. Slightly damp morning in Wigan and a smile brings warmth and happiness to everybody. Doesn't cost much does it? I wonder if that's the clock chiming for anything uh, special. Let's have a look at our chronometer. What is it? Press the right button. It's actually it's 12 minutes to 9 to uh, 10 sorry 12 minutes to 10 oh I wonder why the bells button doesn't really seem uh, that logical is it Dave did you expect logic in this generation oh no not really very little is logical or sensible or pleasant most of its designs upset people and uh, <coughs> drive a wedge between us and uh, the rest of the world, us oldies. But uh, we should remember it's not just us oldies that feel that uh, distance from uh, those who support to run the country etc and uh, a lot of young people find it all bewildering as well and hard to make progress in this day and age thankfully i was born into a generation before political correctness had even been dreamt up
<laughs> you can see what the uh, yellow is going to look like. It looks a bit uh, grubby. Well, it's never long until the other one starts up. I'm busy putting uh, some of my still photograph collection onto uh, DVDs and digital. And I'm fitting about a thousand pictures on each one. Uh, so, uh, how's that? Sort of a penny a pop if you've got them on there. Uh, download isn't it? I don't mind paying 60, 70, 80 in the pounds for your uh, pictures. That was just a, a penny sound. seen the uh, 10 o'clock departures go out. It certainly is almost universal uh, yellow B network livery now. The driver training going on there is it? Oh no, it's a brand new bus actually. Rather nice.
activity for you. This is the uh, new one, I think. Filling out a little bit in the uh, bus station now. 10 o'clock, bus passes become valid. So uh, it gives you a second to the little uh, rush. I've got my uh, bus pass, eh? I've had it for quite a while. <laughs> yes. yes, Dave, you are of a great age of having bus passes and such like. I did get my uh, winter fuel allowance as well. But, uh, the country's gone over to Labour and the wonders that they will bring. First action, take away the pensioners' winter heating allowance. Ah, that's the way to do it. Lovely. What a <laughs> prototype for everything in modeling isn't it? About the time they started doing pre-weather bus models actually I'm quite serious on that one got a little bit of contact with people in the biz as it were over in uh, oriental parts namely a big blob with about a million and goodness knows how many uh, people yes you are with me on that one and uh, there most of the uh, models are made. I know some of the uh, part work things, the old uh, OXOs or AXOs, whatever they're called. Uh, some of those actually get made over in uh, Bangladesh now. Yes, uh, the, the search, the ever searching thing for finding somewhere to, uh, <laughs> to find cheaper labour. Well, nice thumbs up there from the driver of the uh, rather grubby beeline and this one as well. Oh dear. Well, these have all these have already been out and done a shift and uh, took a little bit careworn. Authentic though, not out of the box. I've been dabbling in models since the uh, mid 1970s. I ended up as the area sector Manchester in the uh, Model Bus Federation. I think it's one of the uh, drivers that knows me, but if not, he's uh, one hell of a nice guy anyway. He stood there, posed, waited till I got the shot. How was about that then? And uh, really, you can only speak as you find. So, I mean, Wigan, I've had my hassles here over the years. Um, worse was this a chap who used to be in charge of the bus station here. Gosh, talk about anti. Oh, gosh. There was another one at Lee, but I, I believe he's long retired now, so I'm told, but it put me off ever going there, even, even with a letter. I've got a letter in my pocket. Yes, I have a letter in my pocket, and that allows me to take both photos and video on the uh, bus stations 
in the sort of areas which are generally open to the public not go standing in the middle of the eight and yeah we were at a running day over at Skipton the other day Wonder wonderful running day marvellous vehicles lovely age profile well, for an oldie like me and um, there was so-called enthusiasts plodding all over the apron and normally you know, mostly there were people with children yeah can you really believe that and uh, it's the sort of uh, actions that lead to us being banned from holding events in the uh, bus stations around the country I believe that happened in Dewsbury we were a lovely running day over there recently and uh, somebody was telling me that's uh, that's why they've got the elbow <coughs> over in Dewsbury for using the bus station difficult speed to maintain it just doesn't seem to sit right does it at least 10 for some chance that people will be able to achieve it five miles an hour though I think it's uh, thought to be a fast walking pace and I walk at five miles an hour well I did some very long cross-country journeys and pilgrimages and fundraising walks and uh, my longest was about 120 miles no not in one day don't be silly and uh, I think my average speed was probably <laughs> about sort of one or two miles an hour and that's including stops and refuge ref <laughs> refreshment not refuge refreshment stops Hills are the killer, aren't they? Oh my goodness, uh, climbing up those blasted hills. Not bad, is it, for uh, about quarter past ten in the morning? What else have we in mind for today? Well, if you're really good, now you've got to behave. If you're really good, we might get on to Bolton. And later in the week, I'm hoping to have a day out with Mandy. And she's a little bit more selective about where she goes. Uh, I think we might be heading to Cheltenham. <laughs> Gloucester. <coughs> Gloucester takes a little bit more persuasion. She usually stays inside the car and it's no double. Who wouldn't stay inside their car in Gloucester?
There we go, a ding dong, perhaps that's at ten past ten, or quarter past. Well you're not on, quite on real time filming here, but not far off it really, with all the activity in the bus station. What wonderful drivers we've got today. I tell you what, as I say, it costs very little, but the, uh, the joy they bring them, they're friendly with that. Um, not just to me, obviously, it makes it nice for me. It makes it nice for you. And I know some people have left the ho hobby over the years because of the hassle they got. But uh, I'd say, well, stick with it. I, I think things are getting better rather than worse. We uh, have endured the uh, period where we had the influx of people far to the uh, <coughs> east of Margate and uh, that seems to have settled down and uh, generally speaking I think there's more interest I think it's, some of it's dying in London when the route masters were coming to the end of the ordinary operations and uh, the drivers actually realised they were driving what were known as icons, icons of the city. And they were something of a tourist attraction, like the sort of guardsmen. And I think uh, that started the uh, turn towards people who are interested in buses. And you know, they, they were doing a responsible job. And in the uh, corona pandemic, which they renamed COVID, but it didn't get any better for calling it something different, um, they, uh, the bus drivers were, like we were, essential workers. Anybody who made films, entertainment for people, because uh, it was in de desperately short supply during the pandemic when people were home and uh, they realised people hadn't been making films, television programmes, etc. And uh, yeah, we were going to have to just resort to entirely repeat. And uh, so uh, we double checked and uh, yes, even now essential workers get out there and film was the uh, call for <coughs> what we did yeah and we did we went out there and recorded those quiet streets those skeleton bus services and uh, <coughs> funny enough though there's never been much interest in it particularly i think because most people didn't get out out in it and see it so if you do want to we've got so uh, quite a lot of england didn't go up to scotland they had protests on the borders that you know Sort of, uh, well, I know it's no different, but you know, English go home and all that sort of friendly stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it was set up by the Scottish Tourist Board, yeah, for afterwards in mind, like, yeah, <laughs> not as the case may be. There's a few deckers out there, hey, cool, nice line up there, isn't it? If you compare the adverts, not, none the same, are there? Well, actually there's quite a variety of adverts sometimes you get these campaigns that are, they're on every bus you see anywhere particularly down in London heritage buses well there are still heritage buses appearing I know uh, at the moment they seem to be mainly restricted to uh, the remaining uh, companies that are not quite swept away by the um, franchising the last tranche expected in the beginning of 2025 we're not expected it will happen uh, but the training vehicles they seem to be the uh, get out and the uh, the ones that lend themselves for being uh, painted up in heritage deliveries i saw one come into bury to the bus station unfortunately right down the end of the bus station i was at the other end i started to make my way down and just drove straight through and uh, out the other side by the college 
which uh, stopped me getting a decent shot. I didn't get any shot, not even an indecent shot. <laughs> and anyway, there you come. Let's have a few, uh, few deckers out. Can't beat a decker. That's what makes British buses so special, isn't it? Ditto Hong Kong, ditto Singapore. Ditto to some extent, places like uh, Berlin. Many countries have deckers to start with, including uh, America and Russia, back in the uh, early days of buses. Nobody's ever said that before, but hey, just got a sort of a dim whip, maybe sort of comments, but uh, well, that we do expect that's, that's the Wigan that we used to know in love, yes. <laughs> Old in nitwits. That's a nice one. They didn't really call anybody a nitwit, which is the cool one. I think it's the same as a square in the house. That's about as close as you get to square in the house at uh, school. Well, what goes out must come back again at some stage. What goes out clean must come back dirty. <laughs> I saw a few of them had their legal lettering wiped over. No, not wiped over to, to make you not read it. The opposite way round, wiped clean. Quite a lot, I should think. I've been doing it for a while, at least since the 1970s. We've been getting around the uh, region. Of course, we've been getting all around the world as well. Oh, great big bumblebee. Hmm, mid-October. Not many bumblebees about. The weather's gone a little bit milder. I've got my hat and uh, scarf on it. It's a bit of a breeze. That drops the temperature like Billy O, doesn't it? Does anybody else say Billy O? It. Another Arriva coming in from behind us. We will see him on his way out. Have no fear of that. We will go round the block. And nice, isn't it? But it does come in handy. We get a bit of a bite at the cherry. Some of them will get two bites if we're lucky. Near sides, off sides. Not quite so good here for the uh, rear views. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm noted, I'm told it's my sig signature shot. I haven't done any stills on the rears. I let the side down, but I'm, yeah, I am told it's my signature shot. That's the uh, modeler in me coming out. Really needs to be into it as well. Sometimes it's a little bit more hassly doing that. Occasional vehicle going on to uh, layover now.
Everybody being incredibly polite here today. And everybody else go first. I don't know if there's any more new buses to be seen. seems to be emptying out but I, I think it will uh, top up again pretty soon Hot on the heels of the uh, B network introducing yellow, we see that the uh, new electrics going into Warrington may well be yellow as well. And the uh, mayor of Greater Manchester, Mr. Burnham, God love him, um, has uh, indicated a whole tranche of uh, routes he'd like to see extended or introduced on the trams and that includes the tram train out as far as Warrington so I think they're trying to establish themselves as uh, on the coattails of Manchester I should imagine hoping that there's going to be a whole bundle of funding towards it all because uh, at the moment well they've got some fleet of sort of old second-hand jobs but uh, much loved of enthusiasts <laughs> one does have to wonder what the public think of them hand-me-downs from everywhere Signaling to go left. Where's he going to go? He ain't going left, is he? <laughs> there we go. I just take, <laughs> I just nudge myself into remembering to do some uh, rear shots. Just thinking I'm losing my uh, much admired talent for getting the uh, nether regions of buses wrapped up bells are chiming once more let's take a look at my uh, my sundial here yes it's 10.33 uh, yeah <laughs> I don't know what they're set against what time they're ringing they're ringing for sort of like what it is in I don't know sort of uh, North Macedonia or something I only say that because it was on the news when uh, Alex Salmon from uh, Scotland passed away sadly uh, he was in Macedonia making speeches that's North Macedonia of course the one that's uh, not part of Greece much uh, <coughs> much more uh, famous in bus circles of course for having the Chinese semi sort of route master lookalikes now uh, our youth of today, look at that, that's super, isn't it? Let's go around riding on one wheel around the uh, bus station. Oh, very clever, that, isn't it? He feels the, uh, <coughs> as though he's the uh, dog's doodars, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, gosh. The wild child of Wigan. 
We're really getting through our uh, coverage. That's amazing. Time's just flying by. That's when it's nice, isn't it? And it's uh, going well. Just wait for him to fall off and then we can have a good laugh. Of the, and he's did a cut up the pedestrian on the crossing there. But uh, I don't suppose a policeman will ever be around to see things like that in a million years, but perhaps somebody may recognise and uh, wish to uh, report it. Sorry? Sorry, just turn off. Oh, I've just got a new subscriber there, gentlemen. <laughs> I was just uh, asking uh, what we, I was into, and uh, he, uh, he enjoys all sorts of transport, and uh, so he subscribed to it. Isn't that lovely? We've got a subscriber on the hoof, as it were. Goodness me. It's turning out to be a rather good day, isn't it? But is this the best time I've ever had in Wigan? Well, possibly. I don't think we're going to see any uh, more 74 rich ones. I think we were lucky to get uh, the one that we did so uh, soon after its arrival. I think they're, they're having to shuffle buses around a lot. <laughs> Almost unbelievably, of course, the electrics aren't actually coming on time <laughs> as they do that. I know, but I should say, I need to be expected of course. <laughs> We really are very, very swiftly coming towards the end of our coverage in Wigan in October 2024. We've already started uh, booking our travels up for 2025. slightly overpaid for the parking. I, I like to sort of be well covered, especially when it's a little bit of a yomp. 
from the car park to where I'm going to be, but uh, as it turns out, it hasn't taken that long after all. When I get to Bolton, I really need to find somewhere to get a brew. How about a brew and a piece of cake? Well, they can't touch you for that, you know. Well, the doctor can, but nobody else can really, can they? When you have your old health checkups, they say, no, sugar's going up a little bit, like, you know. You're all right at the moment, but you need to sort of watch it. And uh, I said, well, thank you very much. Some things you've just got to carry on because this life won't be the same with it really but obviously some people have to though and uh, our thoughts are with them it's horrible isn't it you can't do something you enjoy you know, for health reasons and i suppose there's thousands of people every week uh, falling into those sort of problems Morning. And that, my friend, is that. Time to say goodbye. Well, it's your old mate Dave back to say farewell once again. It's always a pleasure having you along on these journeys with us. And it certainly has been today. What some lovely drivers out there at Wigan. And uh, yeah, it makes you feel really nice and warm and cosy. And I'm warm and cosy because I've got my hat and scarf on. Probably needs me gloves. I've got to find me gloves. I haven't got them out yet. Anyway, it's always a pleasure having you along with us. Remember, stay safe, be good, keep well. And uh, if you can, be kind to other people because we really are sort of living through some quite difficult times. And uh, Mandy's at home. She's got a couple of jobs going on, people calling around to do things. So uh, from her at home and from me here in Wigan, it's God bless and see you all again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.